Imagine wandering through the picturesque streets of Europe, where every corner holds the promise of adventure and discovery. But amidst the charm and allure lies a darker reality, cities where danger lurks in the shadows, where every step could lead you into harm's way. Join us on a journey through Europe's most treacherous cities, where danger is not just a possibility, but a chilling reality. From the cobblestone alleys of ancient towns, to the neon-lit avenues of modern hubs, we'll delve into the heart of each locale, uncovering the threats that lurk beneath the surface. But fear not, for knowledge is power. By understanding the risks that these cities present, you'll be better equipped to navigate their streets and safeguard your journey. So buckle up and prepare for a gripping exploration of Europe's 15 most dangerous cities, where every twist and turn could lead to the ultimate price. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and insights as we navigate the urban jungle in 2024. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and above all, stay safe. Charleroi, Belgium ranks as the 15th most dangerous city in Europe, mainly due to its high crime index of 63% and the substantial presence of drug crimes, theft, and vandalism. The city is marked by areas of significant unemployment, approximately 20%, which is considerably higher than the national average. This economic distress contributes to the city's safety concerns, predominantly in certain hotspots where crimes such as muggings and pickpocketing are more frequent, especially in the city center and public transportation hubs. The high level of general crime, including violent incidents, underscores the need for caution in this city. The overall crime rate in Charleroi is quite significant with reported levels of concerns about being mugged or robbed and issues with drug dealing being especially high. Number 14. Paris is reported to have a moderate to high crime rate, particularly concerning property crimes like vandalism and theft, as well as violent crimes such as assault and armed robbery. The overall crime rate in Paris is characterized as high in some areas, particularly in terms of concerns about physical attacks based on skin color, ethnic origin, gender, or religion. Specific districts such as the 1st, 2nd, and 18th arrondissements have higher incidences of crimes, including burglary and narcotics offenses. The 1st arrondissement in particular records 33.7 narcotic offenses per 1,000 inhabitants, indicating significant drug-related activities. These high crime rates in certain districts contribute to Paris's placement on lists of cities with considerable safety concerns reflecting both the actual crime rates and the public's perception of safety in the city. Number 13. Coventry, UK. Coventry, UK, has a notable crime rate, with a particular emphasis on violent crimes. The city has a crime index of 64.85, which suggests a high level of crime compared to other areas. This high index is reflected in the significant concerns among residents and visitors about being attacked, robbed, or subjected to physical attacks based on their identity, with drug-related issues and property crimes also prevalent. Specifically, violent crime, including assault and armed robbery, is particularly high, contributing significantly to the overall crime landscape in Coventry. This situation has been ongoing with violent crime reportedly making up a substantial portion of the total crimes in the city, or anyone considering a visit or move to Coventry, it's important to be aware of these issues and take appropriate precautions, especially during the night when safety in certain areas can be a concern. Number 12. Athens, Greece, has a moderate crime rate, with a crime index of 55.92. While this indicates some level of concern, it's important to note that most incidents involve petty crimes such as pickpocketing, bag snatching, and tourist scams, particularly in crowded areas like tourist attractions and on public transport. Despite these concerns, Athens is generally considered safe for tourists, especially if standard precautions are observed to safeguard personal belongings and avoid certain areas at night. Violent crimes and more severe incidents are relatively rare compared to petty thefts. The safety level during the day is quite high, although caution is advised at night particularly in less populated or more problematic areas. Number 11. Birmingham, UK, has a significant crime rate with notable levels of violent crime and vehicle crime. The overall crime rate was reported as 140.59 crimes per 1,000 residents in 2023, indicating a slight decrease from the previous year. Violent and sexual offenses are particularly prevalent, alongside other theft and vehicle-related crimes. 
Safety in Birmingham varies by area, with some neighborhoods experiencing higher crime rates than others. Number 10. Grenoble, France, is known for its significant safety concerns, especially regarding petty crimes such as pickpocketing and bag snatching, particularly in popular tourist areas and subway stations. The crime index for Grenoble is currently at 59.1, indicating a considerable level of crime compared to other cities. It ranks as one of the most dangerous cities in Europe due to these safety issues. The city's crime has been on the rise over the past three years, with particular increases in violent crimes and drug-related issues. Residents and visitors often express high levels of concern about being mugged or robbed and being attacked. Drug dealing and property crimes such as vandalism and theft are also significant problems in Grenoble. While the city offers stunning natural beauty and is a hub for scientific research and innovation, number 9, Liège, Belgium, has a reported crime index of 60.41, indicating a high level of crime concerns among its residents and visitors. This high index reflects serious issues, with significant concerns about being mugged, robbed, and general safety, especially at night. The city has seen a substantial increase in drug offenses and property crimes such as vandalism and theft, despite a recent 7.8% decrease in overall crime as reported by the local police, the city still struggles with public health and environmental offenses, which have seen increases due to more rigorous police activity. There's also a noted rise in drug offenses, highlighting ongoing challenges in tackling drug-related crime and its associated societal impacts. For those visiting or living in Liège, it's advisable to remain vigilant, especially in areas known for higher crime rates, and to stay cautious during the night, when the safety concerns significantly increase. While Naples faces these challenges. Number 8. Naples, Italy, has a crime rate of approximately 3,500 crimes per 100,000 inhabitants, placing it 14th among Italian provinces with the highest rates of crime. The city experiences a significant amount of petty theft and pickpocketing, particularly in crowded tourist areas. Despite this, many people find it generally safe to walk around Naples at both day and night, provided they exercise common sense and caution. The overall crime index for Naples is 62 points and 58, which reflects a high level of concern among residents and visitors regarding safety. Issues such as muggings, car theft, and drug-related problems are particularly prominent. There's a noted concern for violent crimes such as assault and armed robbery as well. Number 7. Marseille, France, holds a significant reputation for high crime rates and is often regarded as one of the most crime-ridden cities in the country. The city has a crime index of 65.66, which suggests a high level of crime, and a safety index of 34.34, indicating that safety is a major concern for both residents and visitors. The common types of crimes in Marseille include drug dealing, property crimes such as vandalism and theft, as well as violent crimes like assault and armed robbery. The level of crime has been high over the past few years, with particular concerns about being mugged or robbed. Despite these challenges, the city is taking steps to improve safety, and many parts of Marseille remain attractive to tourists and residents alike. Number 6. Dnipro, Ukraine currently has a crime index of 54.21, which suggests a moderate level of crime. This perception of crime has been relatively stable, with concerns about safety generally reflecting moderate to high worries regarding being mugged, robbed, or experiencing theft. Corruption and bribery are notably high, significantly affecting the overall perception of crime in the city. The city shows varied concerns with specific types of crimes, Drug-related issues and property crimes like vandalism and theft are seen as moderate problems, while violent crimes such as assault and armed robbery are also of moderate concern. Despite these issues, the safety index for walking alone during daylight is relatively high, though it drops significantly at night, indicating that residents and visitors feel less secure during darker hours. Number 5. Nantes, France, currently has a crime index of 59.24 suggesting a relatively high concern about crime among its residents and visitors. The perception of crime has worsened over the past three years, with significant concerns about violent crimes such as muggings, robberies, and assaults, which are rated high. Property crimes like vandalism and theft are also viewed as problematic. Despite these concerns, Nantes is generally considered safe, 
especially compared to other major cities. The city's overall safety level for walking alone during daylight is moderate, but it drops considerably at night, which suggests that caution should be exercised during darker hours. Additionally, while crime rates are a concern, the risk of mugging and violent crimes is still relatively low compared to other cities. Number 4. Montpellier, France, has a notable crime rate, with a crime index of 62.23, suggesting a high level of criminal activity. The perception of crime has increased at over the past three years, with concerns about violent crimes like mugging and assault being particularly high. Drug-related issues and property crimes, such as vandalism and theft, are also significant concerns in the city. Safety in Montpellier varies significantly between day and night. While walking alone during daylight is considered moderately safe, the safety index drops considerably at night, reflecting a lower sense of security. Tourists and residents alike are advised to exercise increased caution during night hours and in less secure areas of the city. For travelers visiting Montpellier, it's essential to stay vigilant, especially in tourist-heavy areas where pickpocketing and theft are more common. Number 3. Catania, Italy has a crime rate of 64.2, which positions it as a city with a high level of criminal activity. The city is known for its issues with petty theft, pickpocketing, and other crimes frequently targeting tourists. There are also concerns about occasional violent crimes, including theft and carjacking, which are particularly prevalent in certain areas. Despite its rich cultural and historical significance, tourists and residents in Catania must remain vigilant, especially in tourist-heavy areas and on public transportation, where pickpockets are most active. The city's vibrant atmosphere and historical sites continue to draw visitors, making it essential to stay aware and take necessary precautions to ensure safety. Number 2. Minsk, Belarus, has a moderate crime rate with a crime index of 51.97. The city has experienced an increase in crimes in recent years, especially related to violence and armed robbery. However, General crime levels remain moderate, with significant concerns about corruption and bribery, which are noted as high. The safety walking alone during daylight is moderate, and it decreases during nighttime, suggesting a need for caution after dark. While Minsk generally maintains a lower crime rate compared to many other European cities, it's important for visitors to stay vigilant, especially against pickpocketing in crowded areas and during public transportation. The city is considered relatively safe for tourists, with low risks of mugging and terrorism. Local authorities are described as approachable and dedicated to maintaining safety, which contributes to the overall secure environment. For those planning to visit or stay in Minsk, it's advised to remain aware of your surroundings. Number 1. Bradford, United Kingdom, is considered to have a high crime rate with a crime index of 66.96. Residents and visitors express significant concerns about various types of crimes, including violent offenses, property crimes, and drug-related issues. Specifically, worries about being mugged or robbed, home break-ins, and car thefts are notably high. The safety index stands at 3304, indicating that many people feel unsafe, particularly at night. Over the past three years, crime in Bradford has been on the rise, with residents reporting increasing concerns about these issues. Violent crimes, including assault and armed robbery, are prevalent, alongside a high incidence of drug-related problems. For those considering a visit or residing in Bradford, it's advisable to take standard urban safety precautions, such as being vigilant about personal belongings, avoiding certain areas at night, and staying informed about the local safety environment.